Hello, this is uh, 3D Mike here at Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. A brief information on the town. It was settled in 1733 by Peter Stevens, a squatter who had settled on the land uh, near the point here at the river and uh, put a ferry up. And then Robert Harper had shown up a year later, an industrialist, and set up camp, hence Harper's Ferry. Um, we are here to scan the Byron Bridge, which is the bridge uh, on the lower side and the CSX bridge on the northerly side and that uh, the CSX bridge, bridge has CSX and Amtrak and there's a single a train track on the uh, Byram bridge and a pedestrian path that serves uh, as a crossing for the Appalachian Trail here. Um, we're doing a flood study as you can see here, the town suffers from floods as the Chesapeake Bay drains through here as a watershed. Um, we got these images from Dave Gilbert at dgilbert53.net. Appreciate that. Um, and here's an uh, image of some of the flood heights going through town with your markers. It's 3D Mike. Right here scanning at the Harper Ferry site in West Virginia, out where the Potomac meets the Shenandoah. And we're scanning Byron Bridge. The scan is over here, knocking some, knocking some numbers down on this bridge. A little bit of data coming in there. Got to get to work. Day 2 of the Harper Ferry scan. Right now we have the scan running. Doing some long range work. They said it was about uh, 800 feet across. Uh, so we're trying to capture data from both sides. Yesterday we were across the river over there by the uh, the mountainside and uh, today we're set up on the the uh, uh, other side of the river. VHB had uh, used GPS to set five to six control points at each bridge location on each side of the river. We use these to resect positions for the scanner allowing us to kind of pick and choose um, where the best scanner location was and target specific elements of the bridge. This little walkthrough here um, that I'm going to do kind of shows the uh, the targeting network we had set up. We had set up orbs on one side of the bridge uh, to kind of do um, targeting network across the bridges and then on the pedestrian path there uh, you can see uh, smaller targets that were GPSed in also. Those were used as kind of confirmation checks that the registration process was working correctly. Here we're looking at the register point cloud data. This uh, represents about 42 scan positions, um, half of them from the shoreline side, uh, bank side, and then the other half occupying the Byron Bridge here as we see it. Um, that helped us get us uh, data on the piers and the bridge to the left. Again, this was for a flood study. Um, and the rest of this is more kind of uh, what the town was like in some images, a little bit of video. This here is uh, Jefferson's Rock. Uh, Thomas Jefferson visited in 1787. As you can see, this is a floating rock. It's got two contact points that were holding it up. Uh, pillars were installed somewhere between 1855 and 1860. Uh, to preserve the floating rock and some of the buildings in the community below. It's a short vertical hike from Lower Town, and um, there's an old cemetery nearby. Uh, I think it's worth a trip to go see. It's very interesting. This image here was at a seawall at one of the scan locations I used to, to look at and capture data on the CSX bridge. It's a location where uh, about 1,600 Union Cavalry eluded capture under the cover of night, um, uh, getting away from the Confederacy army who had laid siege on the town the next morning. Uh, they had crossed 
a 800 foot pontoon, like an oak plank pontoon bridge, single file without detection. That's 1600 cavalry, <laughs> which really is a, a miracle. Um, although there are a lot of uh, versions of the stories that exist, so the, the truth is really fuzzy, but you can really feel the history sitting at this. This portrait of John Brown, who led the Harper's Ferry raid, along with his band of 21, took control of the federal arsenal and armory and rifle factory as an act to disrupt the slave trade. He lost most of his men and was caught in this fire station. A monument stands where he was hung a few days later for insurrection, treason, and murder. There are a lot of uh, interesting features as you go around the town, like this old root cellar, um, old historic churches, and even older churches. This is ruins of an old church. We also see a lot of old architecture merging with the new in some subtle and not-so-subtle ways. With quaint streetscapes and small shops everywhere, historic restorations, small museums, it's cool here. <laughs> 